What's up everyone, Doyler here, and I'm back on the free-to-play account to try and get CLN 20 and Death 1 done. I do have a slight change of plans today though, I decided to push Horus to V1 and a half or so. So we'll go 1-1, one, 1-1-2, one, 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 then we'll slide on over to Sealand. No intro other than that, we'll bring the 10 star ticks just for fun. Let's buy some stuff and see if those two DPs can carry us to death one yet. All right, Hell 51 is a slightly a wave that's given us some trouble from time to time in the past. That said, I think with these enables plus the void imprints, it should be a complete breeze. We'll watch it and then we'll get to skipping. Yeah, this is a no way a problem. I don't think the imprints made a huge difference, but even if we get completely stunlocked, we're we're not going to die to this anytime soon. So, the record is what, Hell 80, I believe? Hell 80. Two DPs means we gotta not face forest waves. Hell 60 is Quad Mir Mirage, and we still have plenty of potions. We haven't used any, so at least potion-wise, I'm not too concerned. It's really just the DPs and RNG at this point. Solo Siggy, I don't want to use a DP on this, so we're gonna see how we do at 430 with these imprints. I'm hoping the extra survivability gets us there. Plus, it's a Solo Siggy and not a double, so we should be fine. Oh yeah, look at that. That extra hit points is nice. We probably would have died without the imprints, so that is a really good look for us. We will heal up and move right along. Solo Vesa at Hell 65, also less of a concern, but I want to show her off as well, just to show that we should actually be able to just completely out DPS her now. Look at all of these attack buffs. I don't think we even proc unbending and she's going to go down. Boom, look at that. I am liking these imprints on Horus so far. Hell 66 is double heart watcher. Not scary before we had imprints. All right, we've got dual Siggies at Hell 70. One DP plus our imprints should clear it, but it is half of our DP stash already. But I do think we needed it. Maybe not. Maybe we could have forgone without the DP with all of these hit points, but better safe than sorry. Hopefully RNG keeps us away from those nasty forest waves. All right, Hell 80 is Quad Aiden. Should be able to at least tie our record, but I would really have liked to gotten a DP drop at one point. Still haven't seen any of them. Oh man, we completely shred Aiden's. Look at that. He does absolutely nothing to us. That's awesome. Hell 81, moving right along. Okay, Hell 90 is just double fat move. We'll watch it because it is nice to watch these milestone levels. And I haven't watched a ton of Hell, just knowing that Horse can clear most of them pretty easily. Just like this one. Uh, an energy refill would be great, just in case, but it does happen, so who knows? We'll see what Hell 91 is if it matters. Nah, dual Gurks, we can handle those. Alright, of course, Hell 98, one of our tests. Gru, Rosa, Heartwatcher, and Vesa at 440 with only one DP left. This is... Honestly, the, one of the worst waves we could have gotten, but one of the best tests of single DP. I'd rather use two here, Horus, plus those imprints. Come on, imprints, save us. Right? Oh, gosh, if only we could have one-shot that Vesa. Heartwatcher will go down early, that's good. We need to clear some more enemies. It's not going terrible with one DP, at least. These imprints could be a huge game-changer. Even V1 for Horus could make these Death 1 clears even easier. Down to Vesa Grew, and looks like we should be able to make it to round 15. We're stacking up those attack debuffs for real now. I think we're about one active away from killing Vesa. This active, maybe? Nope, not quite. Maybe the next one. Especially if we get an attack retaliation combo. Like that? Yep, alright, Vesa is down. It's just us and Grew, and our attack ramps up nice and quickly. All right, whoo, Hell 99. We'll watch all of these last waves. Solo sleepless. All right, here we go, Hell 100. <laughs> all right, the ultimate test. So I'm actually gonna send out the ticks first, see if he can't survive one basic and throw out an active, that would be cool. It's slightly cheating, but if he could survive this and throw out an active, Oh, 10 star ticks can almost take out Siggy. It may be cheating, but that's a death clear. We're gonna call it Solo Horus. I think he would have been fine, but no need to test it. Finally got death one on the free to play account. 
Let's just skip some waves and see how high he can get. Looks like he's gonna die to an Oberon wave. That's fine. Death 2. That is awesome. Get some achievements and I can level up the horse five more levels before Sea Land. All right, now it's time for Sea Land. We've got that 345 horse now. Still rocking the block HP stone. Gonna go one, two, three, one, two. And then for our four baby Tixes, we're gonna run a Death Sworn. We've got energy, 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 energy. We can maybe swap to the Fearless one if we have to, but I think the Death Sworn is the better play. So, yep. We've got all of those set up, plus the V one and a half horse now. I'm thinking this should be at least a little easier. Hopefully. Everything hits the boss, that's nice. We've got the burn now. Oof, we don't quite proc in round two, that's good. It was close there. Phoenix is out. We're doing a lot of damage between the Death Sworn Phoenix combo and our imprints. If we can kill a priest and the boss here, boss will go down. Then the race should chain. Oh, we didn't kill any priests, though. We have to kill priests right now. All right, one priest down. That's good. That's a good look. Man, this might have been too easy with these imprints, guys. Oh, we barely survive. Phoenix, come on. I don't think we're going to be able to do it with quite yet. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm thinking the, the HP enables is the way to go. I don't think we can survive without them. Cracked in round five. That's not terrible. Kill one priest and the boss might go down right here. All right. One warrior down. Please kill that priest right now, Horus. Oh, he's not going to die. No, we need to kill that stupid priest. Okay, the priest is down. Us versus a warrior. Oh, I don't know if we can do it. Last one. It's so close. At least we got death one, but... I don't know if we're going to be able to do Seal Land 20 today. Every active hit the boss, so he didn't active, which is different. We're going to get two ticks basic attacks, and maybe... Ooh, we may spread out the wreaths, too. Race on every priest. Let's go. Come on, horse, Live. This is a very different run than we've seen before. We've got wreaths on every priest. We proc in round four, which isn't perfect. All right, stuff needs to start dying right now. Oh no! Alright, that's it for this attempt. We're so close.